We're going to begin with a look at the latest coronavirus numbers from Johns Hopkins University. Now, more than 115.6 million cases of diagnosed coronavirus around the world and our toll here at home. American lives lost now beyond the 518,000 mark. As the CDC is reporting, more than 82.5 million doses of COVID-19 vaccine have now been administered. And joining us now is ABC News contributor and emergency medicine physician, Dr. Darian Sutton, in for Dr. Jen today. Dr. Sutton, thank you for being with us. Thank you. I love all the sunshine behind you, but we do have some serious <laughs> stuff to talk about because Johnson & Johnson vaccine, it's been approved. Uh, and today in Detroit, we are hearing that the mayor has turned down 6,000 doses and citing the efficacy of the J&J &J vaccine. Talk a little bit about what efficacy means in this context. So, uh, Amy, there are two things that scientists are actively measuring and closely following, and that is efficacy and effectiveness. Now, efficacy is one of those words that we commonly hear in brief and simple explainers, but it's a little bit more complicated after first glance. In scientific studies, efficacy is a measurement of the difference in risk that is seen between two groups of people, um, those who receive the vaccine and those who receive the placebo. And the risks that we're looking at are risks to infection, hospitalization and death, and that is within the scientific study. Effectiveness is how well that vaccine performs outside of the scientific study. And naturally, when we get these efficacy results, for example, of Moderna and Pfizer and Johnson & Johnson, we want to compare them, but we simply do not have the data to compare them as these efficacy results were produced at different time periods, mm. in different populations, and in different locations. And for example, Johnson & Johnson in the setting of more transmissible variants. We need more data, of course, because this is all in its infancy, even this uh, pandemic is, even though it feels like it's been forever. There is some initial data, though, right now on the approved vaccines we have. What is that telling us? So that data is really promising. It is telling us that these vaccines are effective at preventing hospitalization and death. And that's really important. That is our goal. Um, as we wait more for more data to come in, we'll be able to really substantiate how effective these vaccines really are. Dr. Darian Sutton, thank you very much. We appreciate your time on this Friday. We'll check back in with you a little later. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.